hey if you want to know how did I go from this to this then watch this video so the thing is that I had DS718 plus with um, things like Plex installed moments Snorgy drive surveillance and the thing was that the utilization of hard drive was like all the time max as you can see on the first slide the volume and disk so it was thinking like okay probably surveillance is just keep on recording on those two disks and there's not much i can really do uh, apart from maybe getting an expansion unit and recording surveillance on separate disks but um there, there was nothing i could do so i was thinking maybe i could upgrade uh to a better nas like 720 plus and that would speed up things because the way i was using apps like synergy drive um on, on the windows 10 that I assigned Windows um, documents folder, pictures folder, and, and other folders uh, to be synchronized all the time. So whatever I do on my Windows, whatever I move in those document folders, it automatically was syncing with a NAS. So for that reason, it was also adding an extra strain on, on, on Synology because it had to synchronize every single thing I'm doing on the Windows, not just a, a backup, a sync of everything. And also, you know, moments as well, syncing from my phone and surveillance, recording everything. So I was thinking maybe if I would go for 720, I would have a better CPU. Uh, there is um, also uh, some caching slots and just in case if, if CPU is not going to speed up things and, and there's also DDR4, which is faster memory. I was thinking maybe give it a try. So what I did, I migrated from 718 to 720. And uh, effects, what we got was not much. <laughs> Discs and volumes were still really high, 9500% utilization. It was no improvement at all. So that's why I bought 720 to get uh, cash working as well. So I got some cheap Cyoxia um, SSDs and VMEs into a 720. At the bottom of it, you can put them in. Similar to 420, I remove these ones, put them in. And it's fine, you can have your cash. So I did that. And we went from that to this. <laughs> Utilization is around 4%, 30% depending on the, on the situation. And um, the disks, the strain on disk is really uh, brought down because what's happening now, that everything what is written to a NAS, it's written to a cache first, not drives. So drives are just waiting there to receive those operations later on. And read as well. If you read something, it um, it checks repetitious data. Whatever is um, repeatedly accessed from the NAS, it's been moved and copied, not moved, copied to the cache. So it's going to be served next time from the cache instead of hard drives. And for that reason, hard drives can actually breathe, <laughs> and uh, and uh, you can notice this significant difference that it's uh, DSM is smoother. You can access drives quicker. You can. Uh, share files uh, on your drive application things like that everything is just smoother <laughs> so if you want to see an upgrade then not on you might not need to actually upgrade if you got 720 already and it's slow adding cache will help but if you don't have caching slots then um, if you have a four bay with two drives you can you use those two extra bays for caching or if you if you don't have any of the options you might need to get the new NAS, which has caching options. So um, I hope this video was helping you to speed up your NAS or change your NAS to something better. If you've got any questions, always go to NAS Compares, fill the form, send the email to info NAS Compares, and we're gonna help you. We're gonna shoot a video like this to help you and others as well. Cheerio.